A late morning stroll with his wife Joyce of 52 years. This is Bill Cummings living his dream. I really never had a dream other than to find a woman who would be be would be willing to live with me and have a family and live a good life and try to make something of it, try to leave something behind. Cummings made something all right, a billion dollar fortune. Yes, billion with a B. Something that surprises even his closest friends. Some of them have told us how shocked they were. It was not something we talked about. Hard work and passion for business and real estate made that bundle. In 2011, Cummings and his wife joined the Giving Pledge, created by Warren Buffett and Bill and Melinda Gates. The Giving Pledge commits billionaires to sharing their wealth. The dream now is can I figure a way to make it live on and can we work up a system so that things will, will go on for a long time in the future? Long before he started becoming wealthy, Cummings learned the importance of hard work and giving back. My mom was always the designated collector, trying to help people in the neighborhood. She loved doing it. She loved it for the results that she got. Born 81 years ago, Cummings was raised in a one-bedroom Medford apartment. My sister and I shared the one bedroom. My parents slept in the living room, and my dad was a house painter. I was a happy kid. We didn't have any extras of any sort, but I enjoyed life. What he enjoyed from an early age, making money from odd jobs and sales as a kid to buying his first company, Old Medford Foods, at the age of 25. He made and sold a fruit punch for years. When the company expanded, he slowly moved into the real estate field. We did a lot of building in Woburn. We bought some property in Wilmington, Wakefield, a little bit in Burlington. And in 1995, we bought a 100-acre property in Beverly, which was formerly United Shoe Machinery Corporation. He says no one wanted the United Shoe property. Initially listed for $800 million, Cummings bought it for 500000 pennies on the dollar. Today, Cummings Center in Beverly is home to dozens of businesses, restaurants, and condos. From the beginning, every Cummings property, every building, every project is done debt-free. That is the essence of his billionaire strategy, a strategy that always included philanthropy. Hi there, Bruce. The Cummings Foundation supports many local organizations, including Mission of Deeds and Reading. Here we have on display the variety of furniture and household goods that we might give a client. It operates as a place like so many good organizations that collect used furniture. If someone has a, an immediate need, they've been burned out and they've got a new empty apartment or they've been homeless and somehow they've got an apartment, they can go to Mission of Deeds in Reading. Making a difference, just as important as making money. A lesson in Cummings' new book, Starting Small and Making It Big. The most important thing for anyone wanting to start a business is to recognize that it's not an easy way to get ahead. It's probably the most difficult. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of dedication. Never anything I was trying to accomplish other than to make a difference in the world. It was just, that was it.